Oh, so man. Uh, Apro is so sneaky. Like, during all the time that like, everyone was practicing on Icy Cup, he would just observe everyone. He never played or anything. <laughs> I'm sure, I swear to God, I'm sure he was practicing on fish during, like, I'm just like, he practiced on fish for like 10 hours a day, and he was like just observing everyone on Icy Cup, faking <laughs> that he wasn't practicing. Perhaps he played 10 hours a day for a year, and <laughs> he was expecting that shit to happen. <laughs> he, he just knew eventually we'd get a reunion tour. It's time for the reunion tour. He's like, <laughs> he's like patiently waiting <laughs> for a tournament. He's grinding games. He's like, game, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, his Zerk is kind of solid, you know. And he saw, uh, he's showing us some new strategies, like in the previous game with that. Hydra, oh, oh yeah. Hydra is crushed in the eighth minute, which is not really popular among Korean pro gamers. So. Yeah. Dude, he needs to come back. He needs to, to take down Ziki and TLS for or TS TLS. Yeah, TLS. God, those letters. Yeah, I always mix up TLS and T TSL. It's confusing. Oh. It's all good though. Interestingly, though, Cloud is not, uh, you know, that map hack scouting with the probe to the, you know, to that place where the Overlord is. I oh think. yeah. Ah. Like that's that's a good scouting pattern. Yeah. I think that's the best scouting feather on that. Map. Yeah, I, at first when I was playing Tokrat, Howcross, like I forgot about that. But then randomly, for some reason, it just came to my mind. I'm like, oh yeah, I remember about this. So I started scouting the Overlords and then scouting the other base. Just, just a quick explanation for those who don't know what we're talking about. Technics means the probe should have gone to the left side, the middle of, of the map here, to see if an Overlord was coming in. And then he would know if his opponent spawned on the left side. And if he didn't see an Overlord, he could then go to the top right. Because you would assume the Overlord would go to, uh, to his natural in this pattern as it has. So yeah, it's a cool little trick. You can do that on a few maps, like on Fighting Spirit. Some players will like check the uh, like in between the bases. Yeah, uh, Fighting Spirit, I do that, but like a lot of times, Zergs like they just randomly scout like both bases, so it's not yeah. very reliable. Yep. This sex trick from the Protoss to do, and Cloud not doing it is just going to be sexy and not very sexy. But... <laughs> is he gonna um, go cannon? Oh, cannon. That's come on, not good. make that. Nexus or... Yeah, he should have went Nexus. It's because, yeah, it's like he's behind 2-1, so he doesn't want to take like any risks at all. Yep. But he could have, yeah, obviously afforded to go on Nexus first versus Overpool. This is something that sucks when you don't get uh, the first scout. It's hard to like tell if it's Overpool or just like 9 pool before Overlord. Because if it is 9 pool before Overlord, and if you go Nexus first, they can run by. Yep. So, that's like a, another big advantage of uh, making sure that you like get your first scout in. It's doing a nice wall here though. Yeah, it's, this is the best wall on this position. Uh, I assume that's Link tight on the top of the gateway. Right? Yeah, it is. And okay. he, has a, he has a room for a cannon between the pylon and the gate, which is really And good. perhaps it's, it is Link tight, uh, Link tight in between the forge and the gateway, right? Yep. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Anytime, must, anytime yeah. the gateway is on top of the forge, it's Link tight. Must, man. Okay. I'm nine o'clock. Zerg versus Protoss on that map, and the probe scouts my overlord. Suddenly, my computer is going to shut off. <laughs> <laughs> this is pure imbalance, man. You know, just just one O. Oh. What the hell, dude? <laughs> and it, you you just put a probe there and just block it, and perhaps even a dragoon can move from there. That's yeah. <laughs> that's one of the good things about Tau Cross. The, the shitty thing is that. The third is like so wide open, it makes it hard to like get a third base versus like Hydra styles. Yep. Especially because like we've seen Cloud go for Corsairs. So if you like overcommit on Corsairs and don't do a lot of damage, like pick off Overlord, slow the Zerg down. If they like mass up on Hydras and if you don't have a lot, like if you don't have like a, if you go like four gate third base, you can get run over. But if you go like six gate and delay your third a bit more, you should be fine. But yeah, you can't play super greedy if you go for mass errors on this map. But if he go goes mass errors and fails, I think he can successfully transition into scouts. <laughs> I put this on this map. It's it's so just need to support. Take scouts. He so he sounds like so serious. Right? I know. Okay, he's gonna say something legit. Yeah, like, dude. It scouts. was like I was like listening so eagerly. I was like, oh my god, this is gonna be like the most brilliant Next strategic insight. Shit, yeah. <laughs> I've done this on this map, it's so good to just make scouts 
starboards and upgrade. Oh. You know, you can make you can make two cybernetic cores and just pump, you know, whatever, you know, whatever the shit you want. Dude, t oh my god, I I suddenly realized Technics just came on the stream to sabotage all the Protoss players. So like all the, like you know the low levels Protoss players are like oh okay okay I'll go six scouts and they just like That's never become good. good. You, you no, but seriously, what? why is what? why is there even a like why is there scouts in the game? Like they're so useless. Hey man, hey, have you not seen like G5 beating all oh. these Zergs with scouts? Like yeah, the scout stacks and stuff. Yeah, dude. No. Dude, he beat Go Rush with scouts. All right. I feel like as a Protoss player, we're sort of disadvantaged because we have like a useless unit. Cloud is making no star force though and just gateways. And... Uh, okay, yeah, so he's scared of getting like hydro busted, so he's going for it. But this is so bad against uh, what Hapro is going. He's going like, it's okay if you went four hatch before gas, but Hapro went uh, three three hatch layer. So if he goes Vita, it's gonna be really hard for Cloud. Cloud is going Templar Archives first. Is he going to have gas for, you know? Shit? Yeah, he's gonna have gas for Archons, but. Like, even if you have Archons and they have Mitas, they, they could just like micro you to death. Yep. You saw like Siki on uh, versus Cloud on this map, so. Yep. Just, just the last word about that scout strategy. <laughs> <laughs> the, the first time, maybe, maybe the first time I met by movie into fish, into the fish, uh, you know, channel. And I was like, well, I usually speak a lot of random words to Korean pro gamers in order to get them to play me. So I'm just going to type to buy movie. Not a high, but scoushy. <laughs> so, you know, the Koreans, when they say scout, you know, they say scoushy. And I just typed him scoushy. And from then on, in every single game, by movie is trying to win me with scouts. <laughs> I, I just beat him with just Hydralis. You know, that's, <laughs> that's all my wins against uh, by movie, just playing Hydralis. Oh my god. Scouts, as you could remember in some, you know, show matches we played. So I think you are the best. <laughs> that is like, brilliant, though. Cloudy, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about this style, my cloud. Dude, he's built like so many cannons. He's built five cannons in his mineral lines. It shows that he's not comfortable on this map. It's like he's going. He skipped. Uh, he skipped corsairs because he thinks that like he might get his third busted by hydras. But at the same time, he's like overcommitting on defenses, which is. Uh, Delaying his third base, but he's gonna be safe. When once he, he he's obviously not gonna die to hydras or anything, yeah. but his third is gonna be like really really delayed. But uh, he's also, by the way, mattered his natural gas with that pylon. This makes me very sad. Yeah, yeah, it's about thirty gas per minute less, something. I think. Is it? Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know when you're being serious anymore. Like I don't know. You just like <laughs> made that up. You're just like, yeah, it's thirty gas less. Uh huh. Yep. I, I think it's around thirty gas less. But okay. Three. You see, like, you see Greetor proudly MSGing us right now, it's like, no, it's 40 gas. Because <laughs> you know Greetor, he's like, he yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, gas timings and stuff. Dude, I know. But Perhaps if... someone in the chat. Oh, here, here we go. The two Archon timing, though. The old school stuff, man. This is what we want to see. This isn't good, though, for Cloud. He's, uh, Hapro went Hydras, and... Yep. What the fuck? How he's did getting this... Something. How did these Archons get out? <laughs> this wall is sick, Dude, huh? Dude, they can walk out the left side, man. Are you fucking sure? Yeah, dude, see, Come this on. is why I said, I said, okay, we saw this kind of wall earlier, and I was like, oh, Dragoons can walk out of this, and and I think it was Eons were going to cast. Yeah, it was, it was or, the top base, right? When oh, yeah, it was it was on the top right base, where the forge is there, and it's like, I'm like, dude, Dragoons can walk out, and the other guy's like, nah, they can't walk out of there. But dude, it, it, like, it doesn't look like it. Like, you can block that gap with one Zealot against Zerglings, oh, wow. but large units can still walk out. Yeah. Did you the Arbiter? Just show me the Arbiter. You guys hide it. Okay, so. Some... Nice I like I like uh I like Cloud's position. I don't know. Do you do you think Cloud is gonna be fine? Cause I think Hero's gonna be attacking soon with these Hydras. He's not even making. I mean, anymore. his strategy is like so suboptimal. Like he went two art like the two Archon thing, four gate thing, which just doesn't work anymore the specifically. Archons, <laughs> the Archons are because because of his style. Like he's gonna be susceptible to susceptible. Yeah, to Archon to uh, Mira's. So he gets the archons to be but, safe against. But then Mira. why get five cannons in the natural or in the mineral he's, lines? Yeah, though? it's just it's that like, he's paranoid. Just, I yeah, guess. it's way overcommitted and like. Yeah. I mean, like you know Look that. There's too much. There's so much supply from the Zerg right now, but I guess it's gonna. I don't know. 
He just uh, so many two units. good, very good storm. Oh god. Back, the Tempo back. is in the front. Oh, but he gets a good storm on the front Hydras. He's got one more. The Lings aren't targeting it, actually, but there's a lot of Hydras coming down right now. One Tempo gets sniped, but it's not the one with energy. And there we go, one more storm. But it looks like the Hydras might be enough. The Archons are falling very, very fast. The Speed Dots can't do much. They do have plus one, but there's so few of them. And it looks like, actually, the cannons at the front got busted at the same time. Cloud is in huge trouble right now. I don't know if he can hold this third base. He's got three cannons there, but he's lost his entire army. Cloud in his mind, he was thinking that the style was going to be good against Hydras. And then to die against Hydras, he must be like super tilted right now. But obviously, the game's not over yet, but it's not looking good for him. I, but he I, has, he it has, can't possibly be good against Hydras if you make five cannons in your mineral life. Like, that's yeah, so, such and, a huge investment. And two Archons. Yeah, yeah, and two Archons. Like, that's not a good against oh, Hydras. Natural. Yeah. Nice 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 over there. Perhaps he, he might back into the to, He needs the cannon. Oh. Wow, there's a lot of units coming for Hydra. Oh, nice storm again on those Hydras getting stuck. So it looks like he might barely hold. But I mean, yeah, the thing is, like. He has no production. He's banking 1.2k. He's oh, wow. Gates, yeah. See, I thought one of the reasons, like, that 4 gate 2 Archon style fell out of favor was specifically because 5 hatch Hydra is so good against it. So I don't even know. Oh my god, the Nexus is under fire. He's right clicked it and no, he's gonna back up. Need yeah. some positioning with these zealots, but this is not it. Yeah. Yeah, he pulls back. He pulls back correctly. There's a lot of Hydras. I think if Hapro... Well, let's see the supplies. It's 89 versus 79. Uh, These cannons, man. Now oh, they're working some shit. Yeah, but it's, they're out of range. He can't let his Nexus die, obviously. He needs to go. He's gonna go. Is Hapro gonna ignore it? No, he's just gonna back up. He needs really good positioning with those Zeds. And there's some... Semi nice. Okay, oh. back to the nice. So many Hydras. He needs like one or two more Storms. He's got one right. Templar charging, he, it's at 64. The Nexus is gonna die. Oh my god, he's going after the Templar, the Templar gets sniped! click on the Nexus. Is he? Nope. Okay, I think he has enough Zealots right now, push the Hydras back. This is so tense, back and forth. Yeah, he has enough Zealots right now. This is pretty nice for the team, but the Zealots... Sick, bro, my okay. bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a lot of Hydras. Does he have enough energy for Storms? He, uh, he has no Templar. He has one. Oh, oh, there it is, yeah. Oh my god. The next, oh, the Nexus is dead. Oh crap. Now uh, he's behind, but positioning and he's better this time. Still a lot of Hydra's. Perhaps hope or not. Okay, he's backing away again. Okay, it might look bad for Cloud, but Cloud has a pretty big uh, supply lead. If he manages to kill these Hydra's, he can like double expand. Oh, Lurkers are coming. Does he have a Robo? Yeah, he does have a Robo. He had yeah. two Ovs, but he got picked off. And he's making observers. Yep. He needs to make like cannons in front of his nexus right now. Two cannons at least. Okay, Cloud made another gateway, and that's pretty good. But he has no gas. Because... How many storms? One, two, two storms. Two three storms. storms. And... It's an three storms is enough for that concave. But he cast no. Oh my God! One storm wasted. Two uh -huh. storms gone. Three storms all gone. And yeah. now the lurkers are coming in. Where's the detection? The ops is a little bit further back. But it looks like the lurkers don't have that much support. He might go for this. He is going for it. But yeah. more units are coming. Actually, there's three lurkers in the back as well. He's gonna get the front line of lurkers. Maybe the hydras going after the ops. But the lurkers do fall. And now the zealots are engaging with the hydras. Where are the reinforcements? Two more temple are coming in. This is so desperate. Okay. It's so close. No, no, don't go into the lurkers. What the fuck are these drones? <laughs> these yeah. are standard Hapro drones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, Hapro is going for the kill, obviously. He's rallied all his hatcheries. So, uh, Cloud's uh, natural. But yeah, his X was up. He has. Okay, so Hapro's just gonna go for a contain now. But yeah, if you look at the supply, it's 90 versus uh 70 and hey pro like he he did like a drone cut for that attack. you guys were thinking that cloud was manner piling his gas take a look at hey pro's third man yeah, yeah it's so yeah. bad <laughs> yeah. he needs to kill the middle sunken um, uh this contain could be bad if uh, cloud lets it uh, get stronger but he needs dragoons now right yeah I he's don't getting think so. he's getting dragoon range he's but he didn't make it. any dragoons though yeah okay. I think. No, yeah. Oh my god, he's running out. That's not a good idea. Oh, observer, good storm. Observer. Ah, he killed his own observer, I think. He has a second one. Okay. He, he has to go right now. Like, if he goes right now, he has a big enough army to, like, I think, bust out. But if he lets, he can't let him. Well, yeah, he's getting dragoons, I guess. 
I think he should wait a little. I'm not yeah. sure. Mm. Looks like uh, Haper tried to get the mineral only, but the Zealot there actually killed the drone, so I guess that's nice. Good but... work, Brad by Haper, by the way. Oh yeah, but the mineral only, or sorry, the main base is almost out of minerals right now for uh, oh. for Cloud, so he's got to go. Yeah. Wow, this is so close. Come on, Cloud, go win this. Shit. He's got a huge supply lead. Look at this, one twenty-four yeah. to seventy-eight. Let's do it. He's doing it. Ah, uh, I hate it when units walk out in a line like that. Okay, yeah, uh, Cloud's out for sure. Oh wow. Save a storm for those hydras. Storm, storm, storm right there. Nice, I think he's got it, yeah. Oh my god, it's gonna be close because the Archon falls, but it looks like the Lurkers are all falling as well. The last Lurker falls, he's busting out the Archon. Is it even gonna live? The Archon even lives. One yeah. random Lurker on the side. Don't suicide the Archon, please. Yeah, wow, that was sick. That sick game. Wow. Cloud, Cloud has to like double X for right now. Yeah, at least. At least one Expo for sure, but I think you could double Expo. And he could seal that game with the Dark Templar, you know, denying. Yeah, if you look at the supply count right now. Like, even when he was killing the Nexus, like, I, I mentioned that even if he kills the Nexus, Cloud yeah, isn't out of it. Huge break lead, you know, two attack, yeah. just zero, zero. I, oh, he, 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 he had know. enough, he had enough minerals to expo, but then he, uh, he went for another round of production, so he can't expo. He just needs to make a Dark Templar and kill that fourth base now and I think stay alive. Oh, he grabbed yeah. a couple of overlords in the middle of the map here. He's going to supply block oh, April actually. Temper, temper. Nice work. Oh, but a Templar gets sniped in the back. But now 71 of 61 supply for April, unable to make more units. And 128 supply army for the Protoss. Cloud could potentially go for the win here. Not even a single. No, there's three Lurkers in the back, but they're not grouped with the Hydra army. There's Archon okay. though is almost dead and there's no high Templars. Cloud could just walk over to April's he needs to stay alive and, you know, protect his beautiful big pros arm. No, oh no. I think he has to be attacking right now, you don't think? Oh, well he's gonna attack whether you think so or not. And here we go, the Lurkers are a little bit far back. There's a storm, it's a good storm on the Hydras. Where's the Obs? The Obs is in the back. He's gotta be careful though, he's only got goons. No, there the Zelts are coming in. There's only there's two Lurkers in the back. He needs to kill the two Lurkers. The two Lurkers are going down. The Zelts close with the Lurkers. He's destroying the Zerg army. 51 supply against 118. GG! Mm. What? Yes. Yeah. Nice. Cal takes it to the game five, deciding game five. Wow. Game of the tournament, in my opinion, until now. <laughs> I'm sure I'm there's so a, isn't fun. there like a prize pool for like game of the tournament or something? There, there's two actually, so I think uh, the two best... Yuri versus Mana was good. The two uh, best games are, I think they get like 10 euros each or something. Okay. Yuri versus so Mana on Tau. So intense yeah. game, I really really enjoyed it. It was such a nice game and... Are your hands, are your hands shaking, Technics? <laughs> After that game? Dude, te Technics' oh. hand never shakes. Listen to how calm he is. Yeah, yeah but they're it a little like sweaty. A... Yeah, ah. I'm sweaty because like my room is really fucking hot, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that game adds to my sweat again.